seemed a little tired out. I'd better develop all the plates together. fixing solutions. Let's continue. The merest hint of sodium thiosulfate. Let's continue. A sniff of potash metabisulfite. No problem. you I you see that's a lot better already don't push your luck I'll try to remember that I'm counting on you so is my daughter I comes to ten dollars thank you don't worry the drugstore is open from eight to six if you need more pills just stop by and ask thank you again Myself, a word of advice. Stay away from the forest. There's something about it that doesn't agree with some folks. I just wanted to tell you, your plates are still good. Well, be sure to show me the results. I'm sure you'd find them far too amateurish. In any case, I'll certainly be back for more very soon. Alright, but don't wait too long. Bye now. So? I just... Well, I'm sure... Alright, but don't wait...
promise. Who did this? I didn't see. What does it matter now? I'm going to get some help. No, it's too late for that. <laughs> and I can still be of some use to you. parchment. They came to find it. Great heavens! I've come across the name Cthulhu in old manuscripts concerning primitive religions. Nothing more. Mr. Parker, man has not always been the master of this world. <laughs> but how can you believe such... I have little time. Right... How? There are portals through which the Great Old Ones will enter in exchange for the promise of power, wealth, and immortality. Oh, oh. There are men prepared to perpetuate the hideous ancestral cults and work for the return of these gods. <coughs> what are these gods? Where are they? They are at once far away and very near. Their names are Dagon. Yog Safoth, Nyal Afotep, Cthulhu. There are many others. The passing of Halley's Comet coincides with a favorable astral conjuncture. <coughs> they will return. Parker, you must stop them. You must. Do you hear me? How can I stop them? In two nights from now, in the center of a stone circle, the guardian of the portal will materialize. It must not be allowed to happen. <coughs> you will find here a book called the Necronomicon. Within its cursed pages, you will find the formula you need. Be warned, Parker. The book drives men to madness. Do not take it from here. But if you... My desk. The message. That man will help you. So... But... Noracomus, the sorcerer, even dead, he wields ghastly power. Dead? Remember... <coughs> More things in heaven and earth, Horatio than I dreamt of in your philo- I won't forget, Tobias Jug. The Necronomicon. I'll need a key to get this book open. suggested and read this message in my room. Jug has been killed. I found him in his secret library. 
I don't know who did it. I must be careful since I am probably a prime suspect. to say hello that's very kind of you i just received a magnificent brooch imitation silver and gold very cheap two dollars i also have a pretty market at one dollar what do you think i'll take everything thank you come back soon what can i get for you mr Pro anything new to offer I have some delivery problems with the roads being blocked. Well, goodbye, Mr. Meyer. Thank you.
David Underhaus asked me for it, and I lent it to him. The poor man can't get around, you know. Such a cruel world. Where can I find him? There, the door at the end. Interested in Indians, are you? Mr. Underhouse is very keen. He's been looking for that cemetery for months. I beg your pardon? The cemetery of some Indian tribe, the Muckamucks or something. Well, he found it, and my, is he happy. As for savagery, as for savagery, I think the Indians might have learned a thing or two from the 7th Cavalry. Precisely because I'm so ignorant about Indian culture that I'm here. Have you heard of Narakamas? Indeed. He was the last of a particular branch of the Micmac tribe. A branch known as they who worship the Night Howler. By Night Howler they meant Nyarlathotep. How did you hear about him? We met. He almost killed me. But he is supposed to have died 70 years ago. I can only tell you what happened. I know it's none of my business, but may I ask what you're looking for on the map? Do you know this place here? That's the stone circle, the location of the Micmac burial ground. And you say you know nothing of Indian culture? Does the name Cthulhu mean anything to you? Let me answer you with a question of my own. Do you think that... There are names it is wise never to pronounce, and people it is wise never to meet. Are you talking about the Hamilton family? An ancient curse hangs over Hillsmith. And Tobias Jug, who led me to you, is dead. Dead? Dear God, there is no time to lose. Andrew Arlington isn't here. The diary containing the origin of the curse is locked inside his office safe. I'll get the diary and bring it. No. You'd better leave it where it is. There's no point in alerting them, is there? I can give you some information. I know that... You don't happen to know what they are. When I discovered it, just before my accident, the digits had something to do with the Bible. Well, thank you for your help. You can thank me by bringing me a photo of the stone circle. That's a promise.
Goodbye, Mr. Pop. Goodbye, Mr. Don't try buying my respect with worthless shiny baubles. How kind of you, Mr. Parker. It's almost like the one I lost last week. I don't know how to thank you. Here is my Bible. Please take good care of it. their path. Page 181, Acts of the Apostles, chapter 1, verse 15. And Peter stood up among the assembled brethren, some five score and twenty. simply want a few words with the mayor. Not possible. The mayor is not here at this time. I don't want to bother you, but the mayor suggested I enjoy the view of Ilsmouth from his... Ah, yes. You must be the photographer. It's about the next edition of the Ilsmouth Town Hall Journal, I suppose. No, I'm the reporter. Well, all right. But don't go touching anything. They can't leave anyone alone.
don't I unscrew this case? What's this inside? A piece of paper. A parcel to collect at the post office. Hmm. It's addressed to W. Hamilton. I made my fortune the hard way at sea. Even the big Boston businessmen were jealous of my fishery. At that time, I became interested in the occult. I read only the most accursed books. And then, I met Narakamas. He initiated me into the ancient practices. At last, I was in contact with those from the outside. Each day, my knowledge grew deeper. My body regenerated. My hands were at last palmed. But the ancients wanted more. Much more! I gave in. My own wife, Lavina, was the bargain, you see. I screamed out the invocations. And he came. The sea would take all I cherished. But that was of no importance. The pitiless god Dagon wanted that union. That was the price of my immortality. Two sons were born of that wondrous night, Wilbur and Curtis. The second of them betrayed and abandoned me, but the first followed in my footsteps. He has my gift. He can beg to the stones. They all think I'm dead. Only he who reaches that place where water, earth and sky come together can find my burial place. Our work was destroyed in 1834, all because of that accursed Boliskin. But gods are immortal, and time means nothing to me. Nobody can destroy the families without the statuettes which I guard, and the secret incantation. In 1910, the comet will come again, and the prophecy will come true. I... The great ancients will reign. I will swim beside my Lavina in the abyss, and we shall sing the praises of he who cannot be named. diary back in its place.
That'll be three dollars, please. That must be a frock. Mr. Hamilton always orders them from Boston. Thank you. Good day. Let's see what's in this package.